Well, hey there, guys. Uh, my name is Jason, and I've got this Godan Multi-X Steel Natural HG. I think that's the whole thing. Uh, I just bought this beauty from my dude at Sweetwater, and I love this guitar. Uh, I looked a bunch of stuff up online ahead of time and basically found nothing. Uh, I couldn't find good reviews. I found like a couple of quick demos on for, for this exact guitar. There's not a lot out there, so I thought I'd make something. Um, so hopefully uh, this is helpful to you. I'm going to show you what this thing's made of. First of all, I've got <coughs> the piezo pickup underneath. I've got a microphone inside. I've got a lipstick uh, electric pickup here. And I've got a bunch of controls for all of that. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, I'm going to walk through the sounds, uh, the basic sounds, the advanced sounds, and then I have uh, this all going into a helix, uh, and I'm going to you know, demo some of uh, the sounds that I can get through that as well. So to start off, first of all, just a dry acoustic. I got my volume up here, my microphone's off, and this uh, saturation, which I'll talk about here in a second, is off. So. an acoustic sound. Uh, then I've got the mic here, if I bring it all the way in. It's a little thin, but right in the middle. Finally, I've got this beautiful switch right here. I think they call it saturation. It's basically, I actually have one of the LR bags uh, pedals. It's the uh, session, uh, oh, what's it called? Align session. And it has uh, a saturation and a compression EQ knob. The compression EQ is a multi-band EQ, which is the kind of compression you would use like post uh, if you were recording or something like that. Because uh, compression is not always the best thing to have on an acoustic unless it's really subtle or if it's multi-band. Uh, and that's what this does. It also adds in kind of this... Um, harmonic distortion sort of thing with those tube saturations. So uh, if I just harp on the G and then bring this in a little bit to halfway, ooh, you'd hear that coming, coming through all the way. Uh, of course, I have other controls here. Volume, uh, treble. I do to really, really optimize this thing is to put everything right in the middle, the saturation and the microphone, crank the volume up, put all the EQs in the middle, and then I go to my Helix and I add in 14% uh, uh, mix on a uh, an impulse response. So it's modeled after a J45 being mic'd with a Neumann uh, high-end microphone. And so that takes me from, let's cut up just the dry here. Another benefit of having a hollow body electric acoustic-ish uh, guitar with electric strings is this thing will just ring out forever. The, sus the sustain is nuts. I love it. Um, I also have an EQ block uh, that just cuts off everything below 100, uh, and I do that before I hit a very subtle compressor. And then at the very end, I have an EQ uh, that just brings up a little bit of that body and cuts a little bit of that mid-range. So uh, I will do that. And I also want to turn on just like a, a slight haul. It's like a 20% mix reverb. And so this is my standard dry, or, or not dry, my standard uh, acoustic tone coming through the Helix. <laughs> I'll grab 
grab the old uh, capo here, and I think this does a fantastic job uh, maintaining body, uh, even when it's capoed. And I even have s had some acoustic guitars, uh, you know, real acoustic guitars that don't necessarily do that. Like I put something up here. <laughs> I mean, if I'm playing, you know, my, my dread not up here or my really high-end FERC, it's going to sound better. Uh, but for a live plugged-in tone, this is about as good as it can get. Nobody's going to be able to tell the difference in a mix, and this thing will never feed back on me. So it's pretty awesome. So then I can uh, go over, before I show you some of the crazier things on my Helix, uh, I will mute my acoustic and then turn up my electric. doing here. I've got an amp. Uh, I'm mimicking, um, uh, you know, a, a standard uh, um, Vox 30 here, and uh, I don't even know what this is. It's the IR I'm using. Anyways, it sounds pretty decent. Um, it doesn't sound amazing, uh, like one of my electric guitars that's native electric guitar, but it does sound kind of hollow body guitarish. <laughs> how it sounds um, and then throw some reverb on it and this is where the magic happens so one of the things I can do throw on my uh, tape eight dotted eighth delay and uh, the helix Ganymede reverb and <laughs> this real ethereal sound happening, which I think sounds great. Um, by itself, sounds good, with an acoustic as the primary instrument, instrument and coming through mostly dry with just a little bit of that hall reverb, but then this is in the background, and all these effects aren't affecting the acoustic at all, I think this sounds awesome. <laughs> reverb that is such a high mix that if I only had the electric you don't even hear the attack so it's kind of like a swell kind of reverb and then you know, darken up this quite a bit the acoustic back in and I also have uh, let me show you the compressor setting that I'm doing here so I'm flipping I have a, a stomp here called hard compressor when I hit it it brings down my threshold brings up my levels so if I wanted to do picking stuff like 
ethereal reverb happening in the background, but it's not really doing anything to the acoustic, right? I've just got... I think that sounds super rad. Uh, I, I'm able to get such a huge full sound from one single guitar. It sounds authentically acoustic, and it's got this electric thing going on in the background. And another way you could do it, turn off that crazy reverb, maybe we go drier, turn off the delay, kick on the clon. So this is uh, what Helix calls a minotaur, and um, it's, you know, it's a clon clone. Uh, so with acoustic out. With acoustic in, it's just a great way. Get some crunch, you know, and if I've had this faded out and like I'm wanting to bring in the chorus. So that's about all the magic. I have some other things on here that I like playing with, um, you know, good reverb and a good delay for uh, the acoustic side. I have a, a stomp that takes my uh, delay from a dotted eighth to a quarter uh, if I wanted to just, you know, have a little bit something different. So, uh, you know, if there's a demand later on, I will go through the helix part of it and a little more of the configuration. Uh, but for now, this is just, this is a wonderful, wonderful guitar. <laughs> Peace.